You know, when Obama took office, when we won the election, um, it was the first time that I've ever understood why people cried over John F. Kennedy. I never got it. I was like, why would you be so emotionally attached to the death of your president? Because I had never actually voted for something. I'm always voting against something and for whatever my option is that is against that mm, worst of evils. My first election, I actually voted for the party that best suited what I believe, but that was neither Democrat nor Republican. Um, so basically, the next election that came around, my first election was 2000, and then the next re election that came around, I really didn't have any choice but to be voting for John Kerry because I know that any socialist, Green Party, Libertarian candidate that I vote for is just taking votes away from the Democratic candidate because they're not people who are going to be voting Republican anyway. So in order to do my best to defeat the evil that was George W. Bush, I voted Democrat even though I don't really classify my one, myself as one. I classify myself as somewhere between socialist and libertarian because I believe that as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you should be able to do whatever you damn well please. And I also think that people should take care of people. I don't think that the cops need to get involved in every single aspect of our lives. The type of litigious nonsense that we have fostered in this country is completely and diametrically opposed to how humanity should be living as a group. But I digress. When Obama won, I started crying. I was singing We Shall Overcome. I'm, I'm first generation here uh, on, on my mom's side so that I, I know the importance of being able to cast your vote and being able to have a say in how your country is run. And it's so frustrating that even when everyone came together and voted for change, because of the system that we have, it's not even possible for him to deliver it to us. He's doing the best that he can, and he's getting cut down every step of the way. And I don't, I don't understand why people don't want a better world.